Yeah. Alpha and Spiro Jin, huh? All right. All right. Yeah, I, I, cause I, for for those that don't know, I am actually an Eddie main. So Spiridon for me, he always just just has my vote here. But he is up oh. against a serious opponent here, if he's oh. going to want to uh, take the W here. Okay, Shirtle's getting another DM. Uh... <laughs> Shirtle's, Shirtle's never had as many DMs in his life, dude. Oh. Slide right okay. into it. Meanwhile, Alpha is just starting off. Uh strong yeah real strong a lot of pressure right from the bat he doesn't want to let spirgen have that space to do what he wants to do he's just uh pushing him down and an almost perfect there for the first one picks him up he wasn't done with him oh get up <laughs> okay spiro sliding in yeah it's not Ooh. it, it does seem it. like alpha has sort of just committed to not doing anything and i mean that yeah. positively right like no totally yeah you can you can see what he it looks like he's just trying to lock down spirit in here mm -hmm. just with a load of plus frames and stuff just to kind it's of like, stop you're, you're gonna go relax i'm gonna leave yeah <laughs> which is the best option away oh, from relax that was that was nice it's the stone cold steve austin stomps on him boom Couldn't okay he with the other one Maybe. Um, I think he's. Uh, he he's, got uh, it, though. Who cares? Yeah, I mean, he, maybe he's. It's the mental game, you know? He's uh, tricking Spiro into thinking he doesn't know. Nice little down jab to stop the rest of that string. Okay, Spiro carving out a little bit of space here for himself with the dark upper into the stone cold Steve Austin. Boom! While standing 1 3. Vicious move. While standing. 13 frame launcher for Eddie. Okay. Just tried it again. Oh, it's going to be very close. It's going to hit. Uh, no. Oh, oh, no! no. Ooh, okay. Spiro was ready for that whiff. How did he know? I mean, he was dead if it didn't whiff. So. Yeah, I mean, but at I that point, my, my controller is on the ground. Like, <laughs> I'm giving out about net code and stuff. Yeah. Getting on All Twitter right. already. Yeah. <laughs> the tweet I've made before the rage I whips like um here we go, yeah. Spiro playing this super well. Another one of those warm up type players. Really, really likes uh, to just take a couple of rounds just to kind of suss everything out and that. Yeah, that might have been the first dark upper that we've seen. He Alpha's been avoiding them. Or not mm -hmm. avoiding them, but like Letting him go. Okay, really close. One more, oh. but there it is. Wow, three All one. Right. Okay, Alpha coming back. That was nice. Sean, Sean Spiro, he ain't just there to be walked over. Knight squared. Is that his? Uh, it's clan tag. Uh, I believe so. Though I have, I have not looked into it too yeah, much. It looks like it just says knight squared, but uh. I just right. noticed Shirtle, Shirtle is screaming it out in the chat, man. EU boys coming in here. Look at this. So, uh, Shirtle being everywhere is over in the production channel. Uh, Masker has to run after this. We're going to run all three of his games in a row after this set. Right. Cool. No problem. So, we're going to see Massacre a lot after this. Um, this is going to be down. fun. I'll just leave after that. I'll, sh I'll show myself up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but going into game two now, um, do you think it was the way Alpha was locking him down was the reason why he came out on top there? Was it the aggression? Like, how would you combat this if you're playing in Spiritian shoes? So, um, well, one, I would have already lost because I don't know Eddie, but um, <laughs> I don't know. So Spiritian is a player I've only seen play rarely. Again, like I said, I I am a, a a creature of COVID at this in the in sort of the Tekken community. I knew who Spiridon was. I'd seen him play like twice, so I've only seen him play like three times since. Um, so like, well, Forgotten Realm is a rough place to be. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure I'm thrilled about that if I'm Spiridon, but I I I kind of think he has to push him a little harder. Like Alpha was kind of just getting away with stuff. Yeah, you know, he would he could just step back because he you know Spiro would go and relax, and then suddenly it's like. Hmm. Okay, what do I do now? Yeah, creating this mental space for himself. 
we got the tech as well. Really nice. Spiro, one of the first people we saw on stream to actually tech that. Okay, downstairs, sir. Alpha has this match about the Ur? Okay, that's what we like. Oh no! Already. Alright. Rule one and tech and never give up. Uh oh! oh. Round two. Don't Just a flying don't elbow. Fight. Yeah. Just got him there. Boom! That got him off. Damn. Yeah. That's gonna Up hurt. Yes, sir. That's 50%. Uh oh, could have stopped it there. It's a beefy. Yeah. Okay. Spiro really looking for that uh, map positioning here. He wants that center stage. Sort of limit the movement here, but Alpha doesn't care. He's just gonna take you anyway. Grab here. Yeah. He's got the break. Got the no, he does not. Oh, he right, gets that one. Okay. Boom! Huge wave punishment with the blue stuff. This could be it. Oh no! Weird one! Mm. Round three. Gets that. He gets that. Okay. Alpha looking like he's about to take this victory over Spiridion. This might affect the standings a little bit if we get a 3 0 here. Okay, big rodeo. Nice, the mid, yeah. People are still docking that. Oof, big dirty counter hit there. This is going to be a lot of damage. Weird roll. Get those levels. Boom! Four. Forward, forward, forward is a move that you don't see from a lot of eddies. That launcher into the handstand. It's quite difficult to, to get a damaging combos off that. Spiritian executing it perfectly, taking a round back for himself here. Nice break. He goes back down there. It's like, no, I like it. Yeah. One. Well, he, he don't like it there now. <laughs> oh, no. Well, this is going to be super tight. Oh, Spiritian is going to have to do something crazy now if he wants to come back. So while standing too, I respect him. It was the Hail Mary play. He wanted that launch. He needed that launch at that low health. Um, and he was just hoping for a button to be pushed or something. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't pay out if you are a fan of the Capos. So um, Alpha taking that set against yep. Virgin. So I guess now now we get the Massacre Gauntlet. I've yeah. I've been happier in my life. We get the Massacre Massacre. Here we go. All right, so he's got what three, and I believe it was yeah, Bufflars, Alpha, and uh, Grimace. Okay, so from that game, it's actually knocked Spiridion out of position to move on through the bracket. Um, so as of oh. right now, Massacre is above Spiridion in the fourth seed, then Bufflars, then Dante, then Victim of Ritual. Gotcha. Um, yeah, so so the stats are going to be weird for the rest of the way out because of Massacre playing a bunch of games early. But um, yeah. yeah, so like the everyone else will know what they have to do at that point. Yeah, um, sometimes it can be a blessing. Sometimes it can definitely be a curse. If, if you have all of the pressure that you have to win this one game, that's the hardest game that you're ever going to play. Like, you know. Oh, yeah. Um, and, then it, and then it also gets weird because there's going to be probably... Uh, there's... I think there's a good chance there's going to be players who are just playing for pride at that point, right? Um, yeah, I mean, and, uh, yeah, playing playing as the spoilers fun because you can just do really dumb stuff, <laughs> and it works. Do you know what that? Those are the games when you're just like, ah, I don't really care. I'm just gonna throw this out. Then they start hitting, and you're like, wait, should I have been playing the all tournament right. this way all along? <laughs> like, you know, yeah, just yeah, just go wild. Fun. It's fine. It's great. Um, like big, like low launchers out of nowhere and stuff. Start the round off like with an unblockable and stuff. You're like, let's just do it. I need something for my highlight reel. Like you know, we're here for the memes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All uh, right. So I assume we're getting grimace first. Round one. All right. We just need the overlay switch, and here we go. Okay. All right. So they're both the same rank in the in the rank. They're both Fujins here, so I imagine they've probably played each other. Ak doesn't um, play rank. Oh, okay. Like we'll he, he he got to Emperor and then was like, I'm I'm done. <laughs> From his interview, yeah, I can imagine that. <laughs> he he yells at us for playing rank. <laughs> and he is right. But uh yeah, this is 
so this is very familiar. I call this every time I play Doc. Um, back dash, back dash, jab, back dash. This is that. That's not like the platonic ideal of a Doc round. Yeah, I mean, he he really does like to move around a lot and stuff. Um, and the back dash, back dash, jab is is just the safest option from your movement. Went for the mm -hmm. Oki. Good break needed that right there. Grimace looking to fight his way out of a deficit here. Ooh, he knew it. He d oh. he is showing some. Okay, that was that's that's hard to attack. Okay, yeah, real good patience here from from the king player. Okay, and the grab into the instant while running very quick. Ooh, over the top. You get such busted <clears throat> interactions with Shao Yu sometimes. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it just feels like she was never going to get hit by that move, even if she was standing still. Like, oh wow, okay. Massacre's taking here. back those hamburgers. Yeah, <laughs> Massacre's got this now. He feels confident. Look, a little bit less backdash, a little bit more right in your face. Throw some mad stuff out. Although now, now we're now we're into just oh, into the, oh. the silly stuff, and oh, it's nah. just working. I mean, I know he doesn't play ranked, but wow, in a seven golden letter, that was a very ranked final round right there. Well, I mean, there. you you do have to you do kind of have to remember that, yeah. In a very real way, he wrote the book on the character, right? Like he is, he is the, he is in many ways the the person who sort of defined that sort of thing for Xiao Yu, and and like he doesn't play her as much anymore, although he started playing her more recently. Um, yeah, he has every he has an encyclopedic knowledge of every stupid trick she has, and usually <laughs> like how it's going to work against most commonly played characters. Um, so like. In in a way, it's it's surprising to see that. In another way, it is extremely not. It's right, just like, oh yeah, yeah. Well, it's uh, it's a day that ends in Y. And so, where, Justin where people doing call dumb it, shit. Yeah, when we call it janky, that's his play style. Like you know, in a very real in a very real way, he, I I would bet more often than not that he knows exactly what he's he's getting into on that front for sure. Okay, but here we go. We're getting back into game two now between these two. Um, prize pool is sitting at $208.37. Guys, remember, just type exclamation mark Macherino into the chat and you can uh, you can do all of those sponsor quests for free. Um, but here we are, and we've got Devil's Pit on random. I'm too slow. It's got to be good. All right. Thank you, Sheridan. This is another one of those ones where it's like, what do you, what do you do differently? And like the the only answer, frankly, is play better. And, yeah. And like, Doc is not going to give you much. You're yeah, going to have to take it. Okay, though I like the way he's fishing for these counter hits. He wants mm -hmm. him to push a button here a little bit. Um, could have pulled the trigger on that one as well. Rear went for the grab. Dirty, he still I gets it. That's the round. That is broke that little lady in half. That is a much, much calmer and like more controlled first round than any of the last three. Yeah, um, it just looked like the Grimace went into that game with a sort of a, with an actual plan rather than just trying to beat her. Boom! Slams it. Okay. All right. All right. Plan's gone out the window here. Down forward one coming up clutch here for King. Grimace up two rounds here in game two. Massacre is not going to be happy. Alright, we've transitioned to the infinite now. Oh, looking for that. He had that cocked and ready waiting for the counter hit. Yeah, this is where Doc wants to be. Yeah, he's got all the space in the world to move, but does not tech the giant swing. I've... So... Doc doesn't do that often. And I wonder if he tilted himself into oh. into eating that. Oh. That shoulder came from downtown, kid. Wow. Yeah. Grimish. So, like, one of the interesting things about Doc is he does not, like, he tech throws. It's just what he does. And, like, actually getting bopped by a giant swing, I do wonder if it tilted him a little. Because he kind of plays mad. Yeah, um, I mean, there was no tech on the end of that giant swing as well, which is uh, well, that, rather Well, that's kind unusual. of an online thing. Yeah, I mean, I suppose. 
Um, but uh, normally people with uh, with uh, a lot of experience in Tekken just in general are really, really good at Tekken throws. And we saw that all through um, as uh, we saw the matches earlier on. Um, I don't think maybe there was like one or two throws came in out of a possible 10 or, or 12, like, you know, really, really strong throw tech. Yeah. Maybe the S plus on the ranking system, you know. And I mean, it is a it is a, a hard one. Yeah, you know, you're going to be guessing, but. For the most part, he guesses yeah. good. Yeah, but this is this is the king's way of doing it, you know. Doing up, um, you know. See uh, if he can uh, grab uh, you. Uh, oh, uh, damn! All right. all right, I I needed this. Um, this is this is going somewhere. I don't even know if he's still watching, but run it back, Eddie. Just just like felt really happy and doesn't know why. <laughs> Okay, so we have seen the show you all tournament here, and Massacre just switched it out to his main traditional main. No, his traditional main is Shao Yu, but like I think his Sha I think his Farang is his best character. Ah, okay. Well, we've um, seen the he he plays in super momentum, uh, super movement based, and just you, know, you can yeah. see how, ex exactly how safe he is playing. Yeah. Can you block all the the kicks, chat? He, he's gonna be doing one kick and it's just four. <laughs> oh, very close to the armor getting through. Good tech. And again. Yeah, he was obviously listening to us. <laughs> Alpha, you know he plays Porong. I think you've played him in bracket. Good block. Needed that. Oh. Nice. Oof, chopping away at the legs. Down to the back three. Has, has killed a has killed many a better man. <laughs> That's a long ass leg as well. Oh, and another giant swing goes through, but the wall is behind him. It's gonna hurt. Ouch. Okay, good spacing there. So what you just saw there is the the tough part of of Massacre's game. Uh, he doesn't tend to punish very well. Uh, with punish. Right. Nice low parry. Not going to be dead, but very close now. Switching it up. Good break needed that. Nah. Good, I'm not good. That. What? I that... didn't want to ruin the surprise. That went through? He was jumping. No way. Oh my god. So so Doc now has a little bit of room to, to maybe get a. See, now he's going to get weird. Okay. Back turn, oh, key turn. You. you, you... You're not going to get away with that every time, though. <laughs> so the key charge is a setup for him, and, and it generally works very well. All right, here's the back turn. Unseeable garbage. Oh, oh Doc, why do you insist on fox stepping? Okay. Damn. All right. That, All right, that felt good. That final round was insane. He... I think I got a contact eye off that game. <laughs> yeah, he, he made him look like a small child there. Wow. So the, the the thing about watching Doc do that is like Doc is, so Doc has studied Farong to a, a a maniacal degree, right? Like he does he does this, but <laughs> he's an so evil that, scientist. He he is the the Doc <laughs> is not the Doc is not there for show, sir. Um, that that man did not go for six years to massacring school to be called Mister Massacre, um, but like yeah. As soon as he, he pulled that out, like, I told him before this bracket he should just play Huarong all the way through. Um, it turns out he's just, he, the movement options, he reaches so deep into the Huarong book, and spoilers, I'm a Huarong main, so this is my thing. Um, see, you had Spirogen earlier, now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fine. Um, <laughs> like, some of the stuff that he does, I'm just sort of like, right, and, and... <laughs> There are guys out there like Run It Back Eddie who just have an encyclopedic knowledge of all of this nonsense too. Um, but for the most part, if you don't, some of that, those traps are going to work the first time. And and I think you saw a little bit of that. You know, like what what is he doing? You know, the the little question mark popping up over his head through yeah. a lot of that. Round. <laughs> but uh, I I think that's the thing, especially in uh, a best of three. If something works once. That's a round for you, and there aren't that many rounds if you're uh, if you're doing stuff like um, in a best of three. It uh, it doesn't uh, it doesn't come faster than this. The old best of one tournament formula has been disregarded uh, a long time ago. But um, yeah, it, yeah it, that was uh, 
it's funny because a player who I think was in Pool B, I'm not sure, winning committee, uh, he has said more than once that like his thing is he doesn't make the same mistake twice, which is true, but it means that you lose the first one. And, yeah. and and that was that was very much that game right there for Doc. Yeah. And that was exactly what he needed right then, like the character switch and, and the kind of play style shift into that less conventional. I mean, there was still those movement options really, really solid. But I mean, the back turn key charge, I don't know what that setup was. But if I was playing against it, I would have definitely fallen for it. I don't. So, like... so the back turn key charge is him being a jerk. <laughs> um, I was about to say something rather stronger, but I, I, I don't want the little massacres to, to inadvertently hear it. Um, but, but the key charge setups for Huang are, are, he's just low key a really good keep out character. Right. Yeah. Winnie committee was in pool A. It would say. Ah. Ah, well, there you go. Just flashed up there. But here we are. We are getting back into game. Oh, sorry. This is actually... Uh, um, this is Buffalo Docs. Hearts and, and Doc. Yeah. I was about yeah. to call him the Doc, but I was like, yeah, it's sorry. not already taken. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I forgot to load up the uh, the new pool. No but yeah, that was that was actually no. from the other week. Shouts to winning committee. Yeah. You, you, picked a, you picked a perfect one. All right. So... Okay, staying with the Huang. Yeah, I'm here for it. I respect it. I respect it. It was looking uh, really, really solid there in the last game. But let's mm -hmm. see. Buff Lars is here to to make a point about Lars. He made Still his viable. point. He can stop now. <laughs> Boom! Underneath. Yeah, yeah, the the instant the instant while running stuff is one of Doc's favorite things. Like he he just really likes figuring out the the good janky options. Um, his execution is is low key better than most, even though he doesn't do a lot of the fancy stuff. Right. Yeah. Like just um, being able to do that is it's not that it's impossible or even really that hard, but doing it as consistently as he does is. No. Yeah. Sure. Okay. I'm very clever not to duck that. That's only a new change here. But we do see some blue stuff. Doesn't trust in it though. Downstairs. Oh no! Doesn't Takes need it. it. Okay. Good stuff. Yeah. Four flowers putting a hole in this uh, Harang Masterclass plan here. Nice duck. All right. Okay. Yeah, lovely bit of spacing going on between these two. And a solid flow out of the ball. That was flowers. really heads up, yeah. Like here when, we go. When, he, when he decides to come in, you, you only have so many options. Yeah, okay. He's not going for the for the guaranteed damage off the roll. It's not guaranteed there. anymore. Oh, okay. Yeah, I knew that. <laughs> but, well, the thing is, if they try to roll, you can still hit them. Um, right. Or if either tech roll or roll towards you. Okay. Oh, that doesn't break the floor. Unfortunate, but the lows hit. Boom! Oh, that was nice. That was sick. That slow-mo was so cool. Somebody clip that. Clip that and send it to me. That saddened the thing. Buff Lars, right. you're still my favorite son. For now. <laughs> Oh, what was that? Yeah, they're looking for them backlashes and the big counter hits here. Saw they worked on Spiridgeon too earlier on. Look at this, the pressure. Real? That's a perfect. That is a seven golden letters, ladies and gentlemen. That was wow. really well done. Yeah, an absolute perfect game there for both players. Just... You did see... Yeah, you did see their... That's the downside of being a genius sometimes. You start <laughs> thinking that back three is good. Um, and instead it's just a good way to get your head kicked in. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, like Jordan Bufflar's just absolute, that was, that was great. That was, yeah. Just, mm. I mean, a three O that ends in a perfect, I think we might see the character switch back. Um, the, the harangue, it didn't seem to work. Um, or maybe he just wasn't, um, trying the the kind of weird stuff and just playing a more conventional harangue which lars is probably going to be a little bit better at um in season four as well i'm not a hundred percent sure on the matchup but uh um it just looked like buff lars knew exactly what was going on he never felt uncomfortable but we will have to see here we go we're going into game two between these two yeah that's that's what i expected and twilight conflict two as well coming out yeah, this is going to be fun. Okay. 
So who's your money on? I know your boy is playing, uh, but uh... so I mean both both of these are my favorite. Are, are it, it's like whose child? Um, I I don't know if Lars knows the Shao Yu matchup, so that's the, mm. that's an interesting call. Yeah, um, it's going to be an interesting one. Definitely, this is an unconventional matchup if ever I've seen one. Like, I mean... yeah, this is this is just like we should we should just leave quietly and let them play out. I don't. I'm I'm just gonna. Like, yep. That was a move. <laughs> there was a move that was done. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay, just Street Fighter mid, like jumping mid. Alright. Alright. This is this is some interesting stuff. He Buff players gave up a lot of position really fast. Yeah. That was so many lows in a row. And that was the only one that was low part? Okay. One, too, one too many. Yeah. Oh, wow, that was so risky. <laughs> oh man, I I hope that was a misinput. Because otherwise, Doc might take that personal. Yeah, he's gonna get mad now, man. Okay. Yeah, Lars now looks a little bit more uncomfortable. I think this character switch is really, really good for Masker. Because, mm -hmm. um, just because I mean, in 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 the Doc Masker cinematic universe, they do different things, right? Like like. <laughs> The keep out potential for his Huarong is is off the charts, but he can he can pretty reliably just evade and punish off of Xiao Yu. Yeah. Oh, slam and big mid, but a whiff punish is gonna take this round. Is that okay? It felt just a little bit too late there, but it's okay. He got it. Ended in a flashy style. Two zero here. Prayed into AOP at the round start. Such a show you. Okay, back to the breakables here. Stomp. Nice block, really, really good. Um, good mindfulness to, to be able to see that Massacre really liked going for that low in that situation um, in his earlier games. He was very quick to block that. Okay. Yup. This is a little tense. Yeah, the movement here now between these two is uh, is just getting a little bit. Nobody's pulling any big triggers here. Sliding in, nice. Down forward one to get her out of AOP. A lot of these are not knowledge checks at this point, and so far Lars is is passing. Yeah, I mean. Oh, boom. Okay. Um, it seems like that there's a. Uh, He's just lot. holding back a lot here. Which is the right thing to do. Like, if yeah. you don't know what to do in a round, hold back. <laughs> just chill out. Okay, lows. That's gonna kill, though. Yeah. Whoo. I was very close here. Is Massacre about to lose this game here? He could. It's tight. Yeah. Potential final round here now in the set between these two. Massacre still has to play another game here the grab yeah that i mean that grab is i don't even know if it's if it is readable i think it's based on the way you spin it's weird oh really something like Ew. that boom okay big orbital i'm sorry but an enemy player is not allowed to say you it's just the rule <laughs> we've been hearing this since tekken 3 oh no and it just whiffs one more now for Good block! Oh, just committed to the bit. I love it. I love it. First windmill is blocked. Dang Do it again. Why not? Do it again. Just keep it going. Just keep spinning. Spin to win, man. The old oh. classic Beyblade strategy. Hey, I mean, if it doesn't work the first time, <laughs> it'll work the second time. It's fine. Everything is fine. Tekken is great. Tekken is a great game. I could be wrong about the spin thing uh, because Doc tried to explain it to me once and I didn't listen because I'm not going to tech it anyway because I'm bad at tech. Yeah, uh, I mean, I think I think a duck is probably the best option there. So like, he uh, can... He's got a mid out of that too. Oh. As far as I know. Uh, I'll eat the mid. I'll just eat it every time. <laughs> every time, man. I, I remember looking at uh, one of my friends showed me this map on how to uh, break out of the king multi-throws. I saw like, that one. It was just like, just if you right at the start there, if you just hold it down, you, yeah. you negate everything.
Like, you know, <laughs> like I'll eat a world standing four. Hard ducking is oddly powerful in Tekken 7. <laughs> yeah, man. Gotta love it. You really have to love it. Um, that's why my Eddie with his world standing 13 launcher, you know, crouch Let's, everything. We, we, we don't need to talk about uh, this. Obscenity is banned on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here we go. 1-1 one, one here now on the game count. It's all to play for here. Oh, what a little step there. Really tasty. Are we going to go downstairs? Yes. Yeah. Clever option. Puts his back to the breakable again. Okay. Oh. Yeah, Jordan's a little thirsty now. <laughs> Oh, big orbital! Broke the wall here. Yeah. Off that orbital! <laughs> what we call it? Blue callback. Stuff. Unblockable. Oh, you, you are a bad person, Justin. Or right, Jordan. Either okay. way, you're, you're both bad people, and you should feel bad. <laughs> oh man. Oh. That was such a saucy little thing. Blue stuff gave you the plus frames into the unblockable, which is super fast for Lars. He's got one of those ones that you don't really know what's happening. Oh, look at this. Oh, into the low parry? This guy knows. Oh! Okay, oh, he, got that. he was heads up on the setup. He got that. He got that. He's aware. He's aware. I would have definitely been hit by that. Definitely. Okay. Oh! Good read. Could have got a bigger punish there, but tries it I like, again. I like the sub a little taunt cancel in there. <laughs> Just to let him know. What? Uh, that went under a low jab? That's a green mid. I Screw AOP, dude. Man, what? I don't know. <laughs> Doc's just over here. How dare you make me bleed my own blood? <laughs> Ducking under jabs. Low jabs at that. Damn, hey. man. We spinning. Oh. And we flying. Yes, sir. Oh. Doesn't connect. Weird bodies. She's the tiny one. Okay. Well, I mean, Doc is down quite a bit here in this game. But he's got uh, rounds to play oh, with. Boom! Okay. Yeah, he's taking his time, playing the patient game. Oh, he's testing for that blue stuff, you know it. But there it was. He should have pulled the trigger on it, unfortunately. 2-1 here on the rounds. Making it a challenge. Yeah. He's just making it more cinematic now. Like, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. Oh, wow. Just barely missed that really, really solid sidestep. Flip it up. Nice. That's, that's the, the weak with punishment getting him again, though. And, like, yeah. it's not that he can't do it. It's that it's just not part of the way he thinks about the game. Yeah. Which bites him sometimes. Yeah, uh, classic Tekken style, you know. One twos are all you need, really. Like. Yeah. Okay, there's the rage. No way, that was so risky. Don't ever pop that out again. Damn. Well, man. he won't be popping it out again against uh, Mr. Massacre. Oh, Doc Massacre. Don't let him. Don't tell him. <laughs> He's got a doctor in Massacre. Mm. Um. That's uh. Yeah, I mean, the, it, there was a lot of kind of odd decisions from both Lars there and um, that I, I'm not a hundred percent sure were the best decisions at the time but he was playing against a serious opponent and sometimes it's really difficult to think straight um as uh, that show you is just ramming AOP mix-ups down your throat so um I mean he was the only one in the match on that side chat makes a good point that may have been trying to be the rage art mm -hmm. yeah all right, guys, yeah. real quick, I'm going to take a look, see where we're at in this match arena, try to raise some more crowdfund monies. Uh, first off, thank you, um, thank you everybody for watching the uh, stream today. Uh, make sure you check out the crowdfund for this event, since, you know, the pot is what you, the viewers, uh, make it. And, you know, we be seeing uh, multiple weeks of, uh, we're going to be seeing multiple weeks of Tekken action. Lockdown League Northeast collaboration between NYC Tekken and... East London Fighters, shouts to them. Use the promo code LOCKDOWNEC to donate 50 cents to the prize pool completely free. You can also check out the special sponsor quest to donate more via GPU Energy, YouTube Quest, Twitch Quest, Twitter Quest, Click Quest, 
Uh, we have three stretch goals uh, at, at $500. Uh, we'll have top eight paying out for this league. Um, for $750 for the finals, we'll have first and three for all the top eight matches. And if we get to 1000 you know, at the end of this league, because, you know, this is happening every week, you know, in uh, November, you can check out NYC Tekken versus East London Fighters. And you definitely know you want to see that. So Let's go, boys. Yeah, make sure it takes the time to use any of these promo codes or sponsor quests. See y'all clicking away. Shouts to, yeah. shouts to Retro Greg. All right, buddy, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are going into the final game that we're going to see. Our doc here um, ripping it up on the main stage here. Okay. Um, so this is going to be an interesting one because when we saw... Sorry. Um, my screen died there for two seconds. And when we hey. saw Massacre there you need me to... earlier on... Oh, you good? Yeah, no, I'm absolutely right, fine. Well, yep. I was afraid this was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> and and so Doc was, was saying this, like he doesn't want to play Huarong against Alpha because he knows the matchup. I still think he probably should have. Be... All right, you can you can tell me I'm wrong, Doc. <laughs> you don't have to you don't have to, to to blow me up that hard. Boom, what a low parry. Oh, you see, yeah, he might want to play the matchup because uh, he's afraid Alpha might know it, but Massacre definitely knows this matchup here. Oh. Okay, side so wall. Just checking him here, keeping him clean, keeping him neat and tidy. He's gonna have to go in. Oh, that was so dirty. That was right, so he's dirty. He's not gonna have to. <laughs> oh, okay, Alpha. He went away. He, he went down with the rage drive in the chamber. I don't yeah. like that. Um. I think I don't know how much Alpha you. has been. Yeah, I don't know if if Alpha has been playing far lately. His his skyrockets don't look clean. <laughs> and you know you can't be part of the Harang gang if you're skyrocket if you miss one. <laughs> Harang gang don't like that man. I was thrown out years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Still managed to hold on to the ID card though. Mm -hmm. All right, but look at this Harang gang representative showing up here. Get that spin. He's on rage, but it doesn't count. There it is with a rage art to take the round, just sending a message. Unnecessary roughness is one of my EU brethren calls it when you don't have to rage art, but you do anyway. Now, there we go. He's listening. He's, he's watching the stream there. JF Skies coming out. Boom. What a whiff punish there. Them legs are so long, dude. <laughs> okay. Oh! That's what he was trying to do all the time. I thought that was like a... Like a... a like a sneaky oki option. It's actually a reset. That's, that's a little bit nasty, man. Massacre. So you know Massacre very well, Ed. Like, do you think that uh, that right now he's he's feeling fatigue, or or is he is he I, good to go? I don't think he's capable of feeling fatigue. Mm, yeah. Second. Um, you like, I I watch him play 20, 30 games against people, and then like they're all they're like I'm done, and he's just sad because he can't play more Tekken. <laughs> A real fan of the game, like obsessive and... is the word. <laughs> he would say so himself. Um, this is interesting. I, I'm Alpha is getting away with some stuff here. Um, yeah. The, but at the same time, like Alpha is also leaving enough on the table that that was just a curse. <laughs> What's happening? Boom! Up in the air now. It just gets to the wall. Oh, oh he gets the reset. Nice. And That's it! Wow, what a turnaround. This oh, man's show you is pretty good. He kinda he kinda wrote the book on hop and throw. He's been landing that for over 20 he's landed that for 20 years. I'm not gonna lie. Um I'm torn because I want to see Huarong do well, but at the same time, Doc is on screen. Usually <laughs> those are the same thing, so I'm very confused right now. But <laughs> but yeah, like the I thought 
this is the one that, like I said earlier on, that I thought that that Doc had like a 70-30 in in two of his three games. This was the one I didn't think that. Right. Um, but I also thought Alpha was going to play Armor King. And I bet he would have a better chance against Doc playing Armor King. Um, for, <laughs> I, I wonder to some extent if this wasn't Alpha going, oh, he plays Farang? Who's are bigger? And um, that's not necessarily a good decision to make because Justin is a crazy person. <laughs> You probably want yeah. to do the least the the thing that he is not going to be prepared for, because he was yeah. saying that that Alpha m might pull out the Warong and uh, that that man's read his Sun Tzu. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of research and and I don't know psychic abilities or something that are going into this man. Like that comeback in that last round. I'm sorry, I still can't speak after it. That was insane. Man. Damn, I'm with this guy. Damn, your production keeps donating. Bloodhawk with the fifth big fifty. Bloodhawk, Bloodhawk. what's up, dude? That's crazy. Two hundred sixty dollars. Thank you, Steve. What a guy. Star really stage on screen. As well. keep, keep using those sponsor quests, guys. Those Twitter quests is a couple of dollars in there. Make sure you right click for all that extra sponsor, sponsor throw, money. Uh, throw them in. They all count. Yeah, definitely all count. All right. Here we go. I like the, the lounge wear we've got on Harang here today. Harang. Oh, I, I, I don't like this return to, to the game that shall be shall remain nameless. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Really nice spacing. Oh, wow. Yeah, massacre. You read that one the whole way. Not that one, though. Okay. Splat. Oh, didn't get the right splat there that he was looking for. Massacre. I saw that little taunt cancel in there. Yep. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Oh. Uh, well, it didn't go well as what it was. <laughs> That's got hard. Spinning. Five seconds left on the clock. Wow. Okay. Four seconds. What I'm noticing here now is the longer Massacre plays, is the longer the rounds get. He's really not afraid to time you out. Doc, well, Doc acts as if the best Tekken is the one that he wins perfect on a timeout. Like that's how he would. I I think that's his platonic ideal of Tekken. Right. So he's just he just chills. Yeah. Um... Another uh, trait shared by uh, some of our other uh, bracket leaders here today as well. Um, we've mm -hmm. seen a lot and a lot of games go to time. Um, yeah, Victim of Ritual is is clearly another one of those. Yeah, really, really patient player. Doesn't pull a trigger unless he really wants to. Like, um, Okay, back to the breakable here. Looking for that cheeky little reset there. The... I still don't understand the back turn stuff. How the hell does Massacre keep uh, reading these laws? It's insane. This guy's uh, pretty good. I, I mean, a lot of it's like, what other option are you going to make? Right? Like, like the the right foot forward three into down back three, or down back four, sorry, is just like, that's just the thing the Huarong does. You know? <laughs> there are other options, and until you punish it, why would you do Yo, anything Yo, Animatic else? donated $100. $100. $362. Let's go, dude. Let's go, guys. Let's fucking go. I'm getting pumped right now, though. There's some big boys in the chat right now. Like. Yeah, it says stop playing. Man. <laughs> <That Macherino. laughs> Good stuff. Okay, an attempt on the roll and choke was not... Okay. I love that. The patience there not to go in when he saw the taunt. Masker is looking to get into his head. Alpha is oh. at least teching those, but... Okay, it looks like Masker is just having fun right now, and he's a round down. <laughs> I I assure you, Doc Massacre has not had fun playing Tekken in the last <laughs> 10 years. Um, but it looks like he's playing kind of frustrated, even though he's in a really good spot. Yeah, I mean, this, this nut of harangue play seems like it's a very difficult one to crack and um, the defense is on point and the offensive pressure is really really strong as well coming in from the alpha's harangue Huarong. i've got to stop saying harangue until we stayed in ireland um, good break stuff. all right 
I mean, I miss <laughs> calling him Bob. Thanks, Rada. <laughs> 30 seconds left on the clock. We have seen this uh, this game go to timeouts. Yeah, Doc's got the life lead. Yeah, I'll and adjust Huarong it. has trouble getting in. Like that's okay. the that's the worst thing you can you can do for him. Okay, mix up. Boom. That's a there good it one is. though. Oh, no! Drops it! Eight mm, seconds! What? Boom! Ed, yo, you dropped that skyrocket, it's a wrap. <laughs> That was crazy. He's out of the Horang gang as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Long gone. Alpha, turn in your badge and gun. Yeah, that's it, man. Turn it in. He missed it up. I, I think Horang gang has a nice ring to it, though. Because you can't say Horang gang. Uh, man. So that was a lot of... That was a lot of Doc Massacre. I'm okay with it, but I'm pretty sure everyone else would like a change of pace right now. <laughs> Yeah, so that's uh, all of Massacre's games now done for the evening. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so and he, he we... cleaned his plate. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He definitely cleaned his spot. So so we'll be seeing him in the finals. And, you know, also want to give a shout out to the stream. You know, we had some pretty good action on, on that match arena right there in the last couple of uh, Doc Massacre sets. So, you know, thank y'all nice. so much. Thank y'all so much right now. We're at $362.14. Ooh. Looking, looking very nice right now. A lot better than before. So, you know, thank you guys for helping to contribute to the match. You know, you can use the promo code Lockdown EC uh, to donate 50 cents for free. You can uh, check out the stretch goals you're talking about in a sec. You can go to the marketplace. You want to buy an item. It also helps the prize pool. Everything goes to the players. Make sure to click this free special sponsor quest from G Fuel Energy. YouTube quest, Twitch quest, Twitter quest, click quest. Um, on the Twitter quest page, make sure you right click because there's all this extra sponsor money from like no skills and stuff. It's a couple of dollars in there hidden behind follows and Twitter quests. At least seven pages of them. And from, so you, you can probably get a couple of dollars milking that. Uh, and of course, you know, top top five, top eight payout, excuse me, at $500. $750 was our first three for the entire top eight of the finals of this league. And at $1,000, we're going to have NYC Tekken versus East London Fighters. You guys know you guys know you're gonna love seeing that oh yeah this is the uh, old splash that I was trying to get rid of which I didn't get rid of currently so I was trying to, I was trying to show this um yeah uh, if you guys enjoyed the content uh, it was my various socials NYC Furby Twitter FGC Savin on YouTube and Twitch at NYC Furby upload we upload all the VODs in uh, 4k as soon as so we get to process them so you know thank you guys very much for your time and support and bless EVF, you know, chance of the virtual fighter homies, you know, we're always doing big things, you know, all the 3D games, you know, Soul Calibur, Virtual Fighter, you know, Tekken, you know, the, like a lot of the stuff is here on this channel. You know, shout out to the Virtual Fighter community for rating our Tekken stream. Back to you guys. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I mean it, it's super easy with the Macharino thing um now in and in full swing, it's super easy to get that prize pool, like just ticking up and you know i might it might seem like when you're sitting at home you're saying why would i put 50 cents in it's not actually going to do it and it seriously does guys seriously um you know i've I, i've done these these type of tournaments before and you'd be so surprised how quickly it just starts going on if people start doing those sponsor quests and stuff and they're super simple like you can it's literally just a couple of clicks from the match arena link um, yeah but absolutely. i mean we yeah, started today at 69 euro or dollars dollars 69 dollars okay we need, um, we need we need to take account of these so, so like yeah. <laughs> so, so the nice thing about the sponsor quest too is it um it gives a kickback to the person that uh, made the page which is me so i'm just throwing in coins when i can you know because you guys are yeah, clicking those yeah. sponsor quests so appreciate nice. y'all yeah it's doing another 40 um, but cents anyway right? here we go this is one of my uh, most anticipated matches of the day, the Victim of Ritual, Spirit Gin. Um, this is going to be an interesting one. I'm excited to see how Spirit is going to open up Victim of Ritual when he starts with the with the kind of backing off and you know taking his time and stuff because Eddie's get in tools are not the best. His keep out tools are insane, but it's, uh, it's the other side of it he kind of suffers. Yeah, that's kind of true for both of them, really. Like, Nina's got some get-in stuff, like the slide, but the Victim of Ritual plays a really conservative game. Yeah. Okay. So now we switch who's on the cheering section. I get it. 
<laughs> yeah, so this has all been uh, victim of ritual here. There's not much to say about Spiridgen. Um He lost that round quite convincingly. It was... Uh, he died of... pretty. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, victim of ritual were... Was, uh, was was in his face the whole game here. Of course the slide was coming there. Of course it was. Okay. Looking for that duck while it's standing four just to keep the pressure off. Okay. A lot of movement here. Both characters know that it's very difficult to get in. But uh, Spiridgen has the life lead here, so it's all the victim of Ritual's game here now. Mm-hmm. And, and even with, even with the life lead, like Spiro is allowing Victim of Ritual to really decide on tempo here, which yeah. might work, but mm, yeah, might work this time. But I, see, this I, I'd, I'd be worried about it over the side. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about about Eddie's great keep out tools. We saw it there, just the sidestep three plus four and and stuff, just really just able to control the space between them. So I mean, if if Spiro gets uh, any way of a life lead, um, he can just take his time. He can let this Nina just bounce around and do all of her fancy footwork stuff. Um, yeah. She's not getting past that w without, you know, great difficulty. Ooh! Tried that raw low there and gets splatted for it. So much damage. Yeah, crazy amount. And again, okay, we really yep. need to... If I'm a Ritual fan here, I'm telling them it's one plus two, man. Blue stuff for blue stuff, and the right. slide takes the round. Yeah, that uh, that slide is maybe going to be the difference maker here, just because if, if Spiro tries any relaxed stuff at range, that's cool. that's that'll pick him up. Yeah, I know definitely. Um, we can see that uh, Victim of Ritual is on the ball as well with those slides, very quick to just bring them out, always ready. Um, loaded gun, so to speak. Okay, we see a break there on the throw. We like it. So that adaptation. This is a lot of all at once to deal with for Spiro. Yeah, he's uh, he's really struggling with the with the kind of fast pace of this. I think, and he yeah. just doesn't have this the tools to deal with this speed. Like, okay, but he, yeah, but he's rocking. keep out keep out and pray. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was the hail mary. I I mean I'm with it. I like those hail mary plays. Um, they're well standing one three, hoping that uh something was going to get through and he had the rage to pull off some big boy combos and stuff but victim of ritual takes it yeah it's it's hard to say that spiro lost the uh, like victim went and won that that was not a bad performance by any by any stretch yeah um both players looking super super strong but this is the match that i i had a feeling was going to be like super close in 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 kind of all all aspects of it and stuff even the characters you know um quite similar in the sort of idea that they want to kind of execute in game um it's interesting let's go it really is and, and like the way victim virtual keeps playing is is very these bursts of energy are you know like he he's not mashing or if he is it's very productive mashing but he's <laughs> not like he he just sits there for a bit and then you know, like he's he's just he's just amusing himself with with the movement. And then he's like, okay, whoop, time to go in. Let's uh, let's go kill him, man. Warmed up my legs now. I can jump on you, like you know. Um, so Spiro is still sitting in fifth place now. I know we did see all of Massacre's games. Um, so he is now in second place. Um, but Spiro is definitely going to need a bit of uh, you know a couple of W's to put him up into that. Uh, you know progression on stage um oh just as this stage comes up speaking of the vermilion gates um i don't know if anybody followed the rules but kunimitsu is actually banned for the pool stage of this tournament and um, just because she's so new and people you know still have a little bit of uh kinks to work out and stuff and um, so she's banned her stage is obviously um okay but uh kunimitsu is banned up until top 60. that's a good call Oh, nearly got the cross up there. Okay. Nice. Ooh, really good keep out there. 
backdash, the classic Eddie super long backdash, but it's not enough. What a duck! Here we go. Last chance, but the back three three falls on thin air. Nothing. The victim of ritual. Looking super strong here. One game up, one round up here. Spiro's gonna have to pull something crazy out now. Let's look at the back threes. I don't know if that's the right call to make there. Boom, counter hit. Looking for the breakable. Isn't that on the other side? The red one is the breakable. Sorry, yeah. you're dead, right? Okay. Oh, nice. yes, slow parry. Super quick here. There's the breakable. And we're downstairs now. Boom! Oh, no. Good night. <laughs> That's gonna hurt. Spiro Jin needs to shotgun a kind of Red Bull right now. Put some energy into this because it looks like he's going down. Run up relaxed. Always a risky move. Okay. A little bit of life here. He's got enough life to hold it up if he can stay back. But... Yeah. Maybe he's getting impatient here or something. I'm seeing him pushing a lot of buttons here that he doesn't need to push. Yeah, there's a lot of... He can just chill. Use that backdash. Yeah, and it looks like that's exactly what he's doing right now. The slide in, a bit risky. He doesn't want to take that 25 oh, seconds. Oh, but... no. Yeah, his impatience is just giving Ritual a way to get in. That's the blue stuff. That's bad. That's going to hurt. Okay. Yep, very close now. He does have rage, though. <gasps> Counter hit. One more. There it is! Victim of Ritual taking a 2-0 over Spirogen. That was insane, boys. That was insane. That was... <laughs> that was not how I expected that to go. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I don't, I don't know what to say. It looked like they were both had the same game plan, but... Victim of Ritual just was executing a little bit better on the day. Yep. And and like you said, I think Spiro might have gotten a little antsy around the end there. I mean, so that there's always that thing of, as I was saying that, and then, you know, he doesn't need to go in. There were still 25 seconds left on the clock. So that's, that's that difficult decision that you have to make. Are you going to be able to keep out for 25 seconds? Or maybe I can just poke a little bit harder and try go for the kill early. Um, and unfortunately, if you're a fan of uh, Spirit Jin, um, that was the wrong decision that he made. The little pokes just didn't work out. He made one too many mistakes. And what an absolute comeback there from Victim of Ritual to take that entire set. 2 yeah, definitely. Real good. Incoming 7-0. I mean, maybe. Could be. Who's, uh, who's, who's taking him out yet? So I'm taking a look at the schedule, and I think we have Alpha versus Dante next. Damn. We have not seen a lot of Dante on uh, on stream. So no, I think it's I just for the to. fact that he's uh, he's unknown here in this uh, in this lobby, um, or not this lobby in this tournament here. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of him, but I saw one of the player cams, and they're very well known and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, they're they're a they're pretty good. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, at this point, I don't. There's nobody in this in this tournament that I'm like, yeah, he's kind of bad. Like, I could probably take him. Like, you know, it's not gonna happen. These guys are all like giants, and that that's a really funny thing about uh, like this sort of tournament structure that we're watching the same people play all around. This is the round robin formula, so we're seeing everybody kind of play against, and everybody has that sort of tier list of players in their head as you're watching them like this. But these guys are all so good that if you see somebody beat someone real bad, they are really, really good. Like, um, it, it's, it's, it's crazy. Like, if any of us played one of these guys, um, we'd be, we'd be bodied right now. Alpha, Alpha, pulling out a Marduk. Okay, uh, this is news to me. Are we about to have some fun? I don't. Uh... Uh, Dante might not be. <laughs> okay, let's see if... Uh, uh, I like the way they're in matching outfits. That's pretty cool. Boom. Who 
Oh, okay, yeah. Alpha is guaranteed out, so maybe he's trying a sub. Ah, right, okay. Yeah. Just getting that tournament experience is really good. Gets that splat. Big damage there. Dante knows, dude. Look at the prize pool, dude. $364. That's huge right now. We can get bigger. We can get bigger. Yeah, maybe we can hit 400 by the end of this. Oh, dude, that would be sick. I want to hit 500 by the end of this, man. Let's get that stretch goal. Let's let's walk before we run. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I really want the thousand, but the random backflip over the low. Sure, Dang. why not? Slam him. Boom. Yeah, weird wall. Weird wall. Gotta hate it. Chapman. Rage art? Yes, sir. Yep. That should be enough to take this round. Okay. Question mark. Is it gonna yeah, be enough damage? Be enough. Yeah. I yeah, like okay. how after however long we're all still like, is that gonna work? <laughs> um, nice duck on the grab. Very calm play out of Alpha. Yeah, it, it, it's not, I mean, I don't know, European Mardocks tend to just be run you down, like, um... Oh, trust so. me, that, that that's a universal trait. Oh, okay, all right, it's the Marduk playstyle then, you know? Um, yes, the the Joey's Fury of the world will, yeah. uh, <laughs> will, will just decide to win and then you're dead. Yeah, and I remember this character's damage is just insane. But it is, it is sort of like, it's a tempo thing, right? Because, like... Often players succumb to the temptation to try to play at the other guy's speed if the other guy is much faster. And like Marduk is minus nine on almost everything, right? Like, yeah. So, so not playing to, I mean, yeah, Dante takes that one, but like not playing to that sort of very mashy, law friendly play style has, has looked very good. Yeah. Um, oh, wow. The flip over on the DSS. Good duck, not much off it though. BTS lows. Boom! Slams him to the ground and stomps on his head. He's ready. Final round, game one here. Keeping him out with the jabs is a really, really clever option there. Um, it means that he can't get in super close. You see his offense keeps starting with a jab or. You know, it just right. tells me to shut up and counter hit Dragon Hammer. Nice. Even after the wall damage nerfs, that's some pretty sick damage right there. That was clean. All right. That, and that last one was was what I was talking about there, right? Like you could you could definitely see that that Alpha was kind of trying to pick up the pace a little bit, and yeah. uh, didn't work. I mean. Pacing is so important in this game, and it's one of the most difficult parts about playing Tekken at a medium to high level. Um, pacing and, and where you actually position yourself in, in relation to the other person is so, so important. Um, and um, it was just, some people are just really, really good at it. Like, you know, Koreans, their their style is all about that timing and patience and, and this. Um, and that's why they're the godfathers of Tekken, like, you know, and they they keep winning and, and stuff. It's because this is trained into them from a very early age. And just in relation to that last match, yes, Dante did slow his pace right down to try, you know, not out space, but, uh, you know, maybe create a bit of distance for himself. Um, it just didn't work. Um, Dante just came in and kept that jab right in his face with the law. And just stopped him from doing anything that he wanted to do. It's a really, really solid way of beating these these kind of bigger characters. But here we go. The Armor King now on Geometric Plane. He's back to his main. Mm -hmm. Qu question mark. He, he's got a Harang. Um, Huarang. Um, he's got a Huarang. Um, I, like, today picture. was the first time I, I've seen him play Huarang. So um, I, I mentally put him as an Armor King main too. Yeah, um, it's a, it's an odd one because he has the profile picture. That's true. He yeah. does. Oh, now that's that's going a little far. Yeah, <laughs> and it's the old Warang as well. Ah, yes. Regrettable hair day tomorrow. 
Speaking of regrettable, parenthesis Boom, segue. Look at this. Wow. We've kind of hit the very... not a lot to say about it point with, <laughs> with some of us. There's some signs yeah. of life. Yeah, we are seeing, I mean, definitely the Armor King looks a lot more comfortable in the hands of Alpha. As he's piloting this guy, he just, he looks a little bit smoother. He knows what to do in a little bit more situations. But Dante is just opening him up here. That round one. He's so good at just using that jab as a... a every time that he, he's under pressure, see that jab, just jab, throwing it out there. Really solid showing. Oh, very disciplined. Oh. It's the yeah. sort of thing you could key on, though, if you were of a mind. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if you're very quick with your ducks, you can get those wild standing punishes. And nice full, block. Crouch, full crouch logic. Ugh. Gross. Especially online. Especially, but yeah. what? Dumped him? Eight seconds left on the clock. The exact time he needed right there. Jabbing it out. Yeah, keeping each other at arm's length. Very safe. Very positional attacking. Parentheses. Boring. <laughs> <laughs> Less boring. My Boom. Better. Steve Austin, dude. Fight for my amusement, damn you. Fight. All right. What are we? Yeah, the banana peel. Good trick. We haven't seen it come out a lot. Okay, chooses to stomp, not go for the ground grab shenanigans. He's actually playing quite safe for somebody who is who is guaranteed out. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, he, got, he, he doesn't want to get embarrassed. Yeah, I mean, putting Dante to work. You know, boom! Okay, we're up in the air now. I'm gonna slam it down. No, he's going for the wall. Ugh, drops the leg. Picks him back up. Derek. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. All right, Alpha. We see you. We see you, boys. Well, he he might be out, but he's 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 making a show of it. Yeah, he, he's definitely making it uh making it a little bit difficult for uh for our law player here. I'm trying to see here. Dante, I think, is almost secure. I don't know. These uh, these round robin brackets are quite difficult for me to understand. Yeah. Um, but uh, Dante is in third place right now. So as of right now, if he wins or loses no more games, he is in. Okay. Um, but but that's not how this is going to play out because he's got a couple of games to play. Uh, I think he has one more game to play. I'm not sure. Aside from this though. Yeah. Yeah, so he's he is at least are all of six and seven on stream? I think they are. And are they? in that case he would have one more against Sparrowgen. Right. Round mm, Robin okay. some dark magic here. Yeah, man, it's a it's a I don't know. I I like the old formula, but this is just much better when there's a lot of high caliber players like throwing their weight around and stuff because you get to see much more matches and stuff yeah i like to run swiss with the system and those are even more complicated so Ooh. i have a lot of empathy <laughs> okay starting off with that steve austin there we go getting away with it yeah that's the wall boom oh it doesn't get the wall was really looking for the wall splat there puts himself against it break that ankles Boom! How the hell does one get away with that? I don't know. I <laughs> genuinely don't know. Although he's getting away with so many, so many uh, wave dashes in in Dante's face. But... Yeah, I mean, I suppose throw it out there, but uh, this is definitely Dante's like style to do this sort of randomness, you know, Mushin style gameplay. Really good. Dunk some. Boom. Oh, well. <laughs> I hate go. to see that move counter it. It looks go so for a ride. <laughs> All no right. Remember how we were it. saying this looked like good Tekken? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got this is now leg. fun Tekken. Please, just just end this. I can't deal with this. No it, way is he about mm. to make this comeback. No fucking way. Oh, that was it as well. That good was. Trade. 
it. If, if that down forward two had been a frame earlier, he would have got that. Well, he's going to take his frustrations out now. Yep, he, he pissed. He's pissed. Look at him. Okay, Armor King managed to work his way around, putting Laws back against the wall here. Boom! Okay, we're up in the air now. The fake flip worked. There's a bit of rip in this guy yet. <laughs> uh, on him. He doesn't want to deal with that. He's clothesline out of nowhere. Hop kick. And that was all he needed. Well then. 2 1 here. Oh, the dirt! Come on. That's just dirty. That is so dirty. I don't like it. Okay. Half is on rage, but. Oh. Wow, seven golden letters. Yeah, he's pissed. Yeah, he's pissed. Damn. Well, um. As I am sometimes fond of saying, that happened and we can't take it back. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there were Ooh. definitely some 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 big showing there from Alpha, but uh, wow, yeah. Dante just like, just that looked good, and then suddenly it didn't. Like that last <laughs> game was that last game was a bit of a dumpster fire. Yeah, and, um... uh, there are there are no innocents here. They are both tremendous sinners on that front. <laughs> My favorite is the random backflip. I, I just love that. I, hey. what, it, when you're playing law, what makes you in your head say, now is a good time to backflip. Now, um, right now. Like... I often wonder about the commonality between, and this goes to canon as well, between law and Paul. Um, there's a certain <laughs> level of uh, reckless disregard for good sense that is sort of inherent to the Paul Phoenix meta type. Yeah. And, I wonder, uh, I wonder, does Dante have a little brother that he used to play Tekken 3 against? Because that would breed that sort of randomness, like, uh, into your play style, you know? A little bit, a little bit. Get it. All right. Is there really anything going on in a law player's head? I mean... Oh, man. Yeah, we've got oh. also got a Lars player here, like, you know... He's the he is the most thoughtful Lars player I've ever met. I which, know, I mean, which is small. like, it's why it's, it's working. Okay. <laughs> Bloodhawk, Bloodhawk speaks truth. Law players, head empty, feet off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 we're getting we're getting late. We're getting punchy, folks. Yeah, this is it, man. It's uh... It's getting late here in uh, in Ireland. Um, I'm actually commentating from Ireland, and um, I don't want anybody to 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 uh, alert me to what I'm doing here to the police because it is after 10:30, and I still haven't had a drink. So that's actually illegal by Irish law. Oh um, man, you you have to have at least one drink before 10:30 in the day. Um, this so, full of arcs. You're, yeah. you're going you're going to jail. I'm sorry. You just gotta watch it. I'm just keeping an eye on the door here, like you know. <laughs> In case the cops come, like you know, no, I, no, I'm drinking whiskey. I'm sorry, you're off, your honor. Oh. All right, but here we go. We're Since about to have an emergency watch. over here. I'm almost out of Red Bull. Oh no! Yeah, damn, you gotta watch that. Two more to go. Black coffee and bananas, man. That's what you need. It's an old Irish wives' tale of of keeping yourself pumped. But here we go. Victim of Ritual and Grimace again. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. This game is going to be fun. Abandoned Temple again. We've seen a lot of Abandoned Temple, or am I just uh, going kind of crazy? Well, that's quote, random, unquote. Yeah, but I mean, I feel like this is like the fourth or fifth time we've seen this stage, but I don't know. I could be I just think... going insane. I, I, I question whether it's actually random. I always have. <laughs> but it's the Akuma stage anyway. You need that potential final round music. Sick. Grimace rocking a Ken Shamrock here. Ooh! Spicy that lender to the combo there. Victim is taking no prisoners today. About to start it off with a perfect. Hi. I'm feeling you. Yeah, uh, he wants to go home. Yeah, he's in a rush. He's got a pizza on the way and he has to be done with this tournament in 15 minutes or less. 
Or, or he's got to give the pizza place the money back. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. No extensions goes for the Oki. Okay. But King players broke grabs. Oh, this one. Okay. Does have the red dress on right now. Could choose to pull the trigger on it. Great patience here. Victim of ritual. What a duck. This man is insane. How do you know? How did he know there? That was just... I mean, it makes sense. What else was What else was the king going to do? Right? Like, there's, too much, there's too much pressure. Yeah. And he couldn't power crush. So. Okay. Round three looking a little bit different here, but victim of ritual. Still he's in that playing. rush. Yeah, he's playing like he's got full health. <laughs> Which is just insane. God, and the extensions? No, he gets broken. I. Oh, God. Oh, my God. 28 seconds left. Thank you. Thank you for ending. Just yeah, pull serious. the band-aid off quick. Like, I, I, I don't know what I would have done if that had gone the other way. Okay. 2 1 here on the round counts. The ducks out of victim. Like. They're just crisp. I did, it's just this guy is playing like he's been playing with Grimace for the last 15 years. Like, oh, oh went for the hard one. Although, uh -oh. Grimace tossing and turning. Don't get up like that, sir. That was a tough get up. Yeah. Okay, 2 2 to take the momentum into the next round. Looking for that duck. Boom! Counter hit! Doesn't go for the forward, forward ones. It's alright, he's already impressed me with one of them. Shining wizard. Armor, but it's blocked. That always feels bad. Oh, no break! Oh, this oh. is good. Oh, and again, you dirty oh, boy! You no. dirty boy! Do it, again. I dare you. Do it one more, one more. If you want to see it. Oh, Alright, I'll for the counter hit now. Alright. Yeah. That was nasty, man. That was... That's... That's a bad man. I mean... It. He was... Uh, he was uh, throwing shade at, in his interview. Um, which, I mean, you have to love. We, we gotta get some faces in this tournament, you know? We need some bad guys here. So, uh, you know, show me those Nina grabs again, man. Like, you know... I mean, if he if he wants if he wants to be the heel of this entire thing, if he if if he wants to craft the narrative, I'm here for it. <laughs> um, I don't know if Grimace is, so I hope he has some. I hope he has something planned. Um, yeah. Also, don't forget, we do have that match arena going. It is still sitting at three hundred sixty four dollars, and yeah. I think we can. Right. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out my my secret weapon now, guys, because I know that you know not everybody has has heard of an Irishman before, but if you donate to the Macharino in the next hour, you get the look of the Irish. That's I. That's I, I've, I've <laughs> talked on my Leprechaun WhatsApp group chat, and they they verified it, guys. I'm telling you. Uh, you're very tall. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I, I. My mother was a Leprechaun, but my father wasn't. That's oh. where I get my height. All right. All right. Well, I mean, hey. But uh, no, I, I know all jokes aside, it's super easy to do, guys. It's just a couple of clicks, and it makes such a huge difference to us here on the on the tournament side of it. But anyway, here we go. Game two. Victim Ritual is up one. Grimace. Oh, nice. Good float there. That's what we want. Oof. Okay. Yeah, picks him up. Doesn't go for the weird Okies. Actually gets the wall spot there. Really, really clever. Oof, don't walk into that. Oh, not like this. <laughs> no, update. Not like this. Nina has rage. Watch that blue stuff, man. It comes out of nowhere. Okay. It's the wall. Ooh, weird wall combo. There's the blue stuff. <gasps> no, it was a page. That was a bait. Oh my god, that was as sweet as a nut bait. Oh. I'm charged up right now. I'm charged up, dude. Oh, counter hit. That looked like it hurt. Pulled his intestines out through his belly button. Slams on him. Boom. 
All right, is that enough of your... Oh, cameraman going for a spin there. We like it. Look at that Oki. Dashing in. Big counter hit to take the round. Okay. It, it is really interesting. Like, I haven't seen Grimace play a lot. I've mostly seen him shitpost on Twitter. Um, <laughs> and so, like, I was not expecting him to, to do this well. Yeah. Like, he's, he's having rounds of brilliance. And then, you know, like, Victim of Ritual is just sort of experiencing him to death. But, <laughs> but like, this is, this is just like, Ooh. that's just nice. That's just nice. Yeah, a literal perfect uh, round there from, from the King player. Okay. The game, the game is telling me I'm not allowed to criticize. <laughs> it's funny because I'm... Um, I think that that's what we're seeing out of the kind of more seasoned players here. It's just consistency. You know how Victim of Ritual is going to play. You know how Spirit Jin is going to do it and stuff, you know. Um, whereas Grimace, as you said, he had those rounds of brilliance. But uh, it's just keeping that consistency up, like, you know. Boom. While standing four, takes it. Hot and cold, hot and cold. Grimace up. Victim up. But uh, Grim is taking that game, looking kind of good. I mean, if you if you had if you had told me that that victim ritual was going to lose one there, I would have I wouldn't have believed it. So you know, like this is I I like where this is going. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, Shirtle, can you can you verify for me that this is an invite only tournament? This wasn't open brackets, was it? No, it wasn't. I'm pretty no, sure it wasn't. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, there, there is a reason why he's here. Um, I mean, in both situations, there's a reason why he got this far. But, um, you know, um, somebody saw him. Somebody noticed this sort of place well. And that's why he's here. Yeah, definitely. So it's, uh, you know, he's uh, he's definitely nothing to to shake a stick at. Do you guys say that over across the pond? Not in that context, but close oh, enough. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, nothing to uh, to feed a trout to. I'm just gonna make up my own. Uh, All right, I'm I'm oh. I'm at my depth. <laughs> Nothing to bury a spell book for, anyway. Like, you know. um, but here we go. We're getting into Devil's Pit. Um, God, my mustache is tickling my nose right now. I'm talking too much. All right. Do you know anything about um, Victim of Ritual's team, TCOL? Uh, yeah, I mean, I I know them by who they are. Um, I don't know a ton about the team itself, but like Commanda, uh, Bufflar has mentioned him. Joe uh, is another is another player for them, and they've got a ton of really good like Mid Atlantic players. Yeah. All right, let's let's hope uh, let's hope to see it a little bit more. Look at this movement here from Grimace, man, or from Victim. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Right, at this point, we're all punching. Yeah. <laughs> Forward, forward ones, just getting in there. Backs to the wall, showing the pectorals. The bear pectorals now. Change the outfit. Flashing that like a chain on him. Okay. Trip, trip. This is this is very back and forth. Oof. And now it's about to not be. That's that's gonna hurt like an absolute bitch. There we go. That's a dead one. Okay. Grimmest. He's got his own round here. If he takes out Victim of Ritual, this is, is going to be the worst boss. Yeah, like, like is Grimace still in? I haven't seen the... I think so. Um, as of right now... Um, no, Grimace is, uh, is second from the bottom here, so this would be a, is a major upset here. This, so this might be... Is he uh, is he playing for pride, or is he... Is he still just a, a pride thing? I'm not sure. I'm sure there is some odd bunch of circumstances that you know, if there's a if there's a dog on the throne in the next four months, um, and uh, you know, a full moon tonight, then you know he can go through and stuff. But uh, look at this dog victim is tired of his stuff. <laughs> Damn. Okay. That's like okay, we're playing some online Tekken now. <laughs> but here we go with the. The infinite, which I think is going to favor victim here a oh, yeah. little bit more. Just no with more, their... no more wall giant swings. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Grimace still only just needs this round here um, to take the W here. The uh, first. No. Other way around. Names, names are back. Oh, sorry. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm confused now. Oh, but there it is. And there we go. 
Uh, victim takes that. Um, it was looking in Grimace's favor there a couple of times, but uh, he just um, he just won. Nope. He just won very nope. fair and square. All right, so I believe we are heading to our last match of the day, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> so uh, about the Irish luck, I just saw Shirtle donated. <laughs> seven dollars and 27 cents into the thing saying he wants the irish look look cheryl man i don't know that was mostly directed at there are american viewers here today let me just have a check with like papa leprechaun and we'll see we'll see dude i don't know i don't know how much luck he's got to go around <laughs> um, yeah. but a uh, big, big shout out to uh to cheryl for uh Hitting up that Matarino, man. Oh, yeah, for sure. I think he was the uh, last donor. Uh, I'm going to call the uh, donations real quick. Go for it. Uh, let's see. $364.38. Let me make sure to refresh that page real quick. Yeah, $372.35. Yeah, sure, though, was the last contribution at $7.77 nice. saying, I want that Irish look. <laughs> we, we, we are getting pretty close to $400, guys, so make sure to use the promo code Lockdown EC. Yeah. Check out the marketplace you want an item. And also with these sponsor quests, um, these also donate to the prize pool free. And um, if you click on a lot of these sponsor quests, it also does a kickback to the person that made the page, a.k.a. me. So please click those sponsor quests so I can put in more coins into the tournament as well. Uh, check out the Twitch quest. The Twitter quests have the most coin right now. There's like nice. at least like maybe like $2 or something in there probably. Yes. Uh, take, uh, yeah. take money out of my pocket. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Basically, click quests and stretch goals. We're gonna get a top five payout of five hundred dollars, seven hundred fifty dollars for a sleeper top eight, and one thousand NYC Tekken versus East London fighters. So you you know you want to see that. Definitely. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, I didn't I didn't actually see who we had up, but we'll find out right now. Oh, All right. Zero. Okay. Yes. Yeah, oh, so sorry. this is actually a quite a, a kind of a, a big matchup now for Spiridon. Because Spiritin, as of right now, is in fifth place. So he doesn't move on if nothing changes. But Dante is in second. So okay. if Spiro takes this win, I'm pretty sure he moves up into fourth place. Who's I could be wrong. Um, in fourth place, right now, we have uh, Buff Lars. Oh, okay. So Buff Lars is on the bubble? I yeah. wonder what the time is there. Yeah, I don't know. This is usually a shirtle thing. Shirtle needs to whisper in my ears and tell me um, what the maths are there. He's busy, right. man. <laughs> Throwing down the donation money. Yeah, I got that. He got that Irish look, man. All right. God help him with it. <laughs> Big first round here from Dante. Uh oh, he's out there holding in, holding, uh, holding out on us. Yes, sir. Oh, that just raw hits. Okay. And then just sails right over. <laughs> 10 seconds left on the clock here. Oh, yeah, he had to do something there. Okay, round one goes to Dante. Spurgeon really wants this victory here. Mm -hmm. Boom. Thank you, Untamed, for the raid. Untamed Gaming Party of 15, what's going on, guys? Welcome. If you just tuned in, this is... Uh, Lockdown League Northeast. Um, we're watching some uh, some awesome tech in here. We'll see. Last game of the day. Spirogen versus Dante. Okay. Boom. Oh, that's it. Yeah, big rage art to finish it off. Unnecessary roughness. I love it. Done. Shout out to my Welsh boy Beepop for that. 2-0 um, here. Nice, Bodio. That's where he gets that hair. Dude, one, two, three is so good. Sorry. Yeah. No, no, go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say that Dante is like, he is just, he is playing, well, thanks, Dante. Uh, <laughs> he's just been playing into a lot of that, you know, he's he's willing to play Spirogen's game. Yeah. Um, you do see a lot of it. Um, 
I think what, what, what Spiridon wants to do is just get those early life leads and back off. The same thing that we've seen him play the whole tournament. Um, and it's Dante's job at the start of the match to be huge. But look at that read there from Spiridon. Taking it home, dude. Boom. 50% damage. That is my favorite season four change that they gave Eddie a wall ender. Like. Yeah, because he needed it. <laughs> he actually kind of did. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I, I make fun of character down players, but uh, Eddie needed help. Yeah, there, there was there was a lot of problems. He needs that back one four again. If anyone remembers tag two, let's go. Mm, Eddie Christie. Let's not say things we can't take back. <laughs> oh, nice rodeo just on the old key there. Really, really solid. He's still playing on a PlayStation controller as well, ladies and gentlemen. That is a half circle on a gray controller right there. This should be it, though, unless he drops it, which he won't. There it is, Dante taking yeah, game one here. Of our final game of the day. So he, he, could, he could send the crowd home right now. He could. He could. We, we have a potential for two more games, mm -hmm. um, but we will have to see. Um, I'm kind of rooting for Spirit Gen. I know we're supposed to remain unbiased on this, but... Have you know. heard me at any point today? <laughs> I have been picking favorites all day. I've had games where both my favorite children are in it. <laughs> it it's It has been a struggle to even pretend, sir. You, you should cheer for your mans. Yes, y yes. Massacre in the chat, you. Massacre, the uh, the the hater of the questions. I mean, the list of things he hates is very long. <laughs> now it's got to be Irish tech and commentators. <laughs> All right, but we're getting back into game two. Dante is up a game against our boy Spiridon here. He needs to uh, to take this. I think. I'm not sure. Round robins and stuff. They get me. Yeah, no. Nick, after COVID's over, I'll drag Doc Massacre out, out your way and, and I'll hold his coat while he kicks all your ass. Uh, <laughs> that's how this works. I'm I'm just here to be Paul Bearer. It's okay. We can we can get a point then after it. But ooh, okay. Man, Spirit Gin is so weird with the places he picks, dude. We saw a Kinder Gym pick earlier on. I know he's going to Geometric Plane. He obviously likes the big areas, but he still wants the walls. He has impeccable taste. <laughs> Best arena in the game. Tiger Jackson costume as well. We we rock that. He has he has been a Tiger Jackson loyalist for this entire. Time. <laughs> yeah. no, there hasn't been anything else. Okay. So sidestep fours are coming in super. That's that's a huge part of Spiridon's play. That move there, where you see him swoop around with a sidestep three plus four there from our law player here answers back. Oh, what a risky move to try. <laughs> yeah, the law player keeps sort of queuing up the queuing up some stuff, and and if he's a little more patient, he could get a lot out of those. Yeah, I mean, I think it, is that one Spiridon's like main. Kind of pros to his playstyle is to make you impatient. Mm -hmm. um, oh, it's uh, this is a scientific term, not working. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, the untackable grab. Nice. That is also a launcher. If you only hit the back leg, it's a weird uh, instance there. Oh, dirty. Just when in doubt while standing too. Scream at him. Yeah, well, why not? I mean, a risky attempt there. <laughs> just a, and another that risky was heads attempt. Up. Dante that was nice. just taking advantage of Spiridon's, what I can only say, it looks like impatience. Impatience, tiredness. Yeah. Like he, they have all played a lot of Tekken. Yeah, it's, it's been a long day of Tekken today. Um, grueling pools. And, and as we have discussed, while players are thinking less, <laughs> it's less work for them. Yeah. Nothing in the, what was it that uh, Bloodhawk said? Head Nothing empty, feet off the ground. That's it, yeah. <laughs> okay. Is that jumping move any good? 
I feel like I have to ask that because he finally landed one and it was not impressive. So it, it's a really, really good idea if somebody's running at you because it beats the um, the, the slides and it also beats the tackles. Oh, um, okay. It does beat shoulder tackle one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. That makes uh, sense though. Yeah, so you'll see it a lot when you're when you're keeping out like that. He should have done it there. Four seconds left on the clock. He's he's safe. He's safe. Two seconds left. Not safe to do <gasps> Ah, last chance there for Spiro Jim. But there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Dante moves on. Let me refresh what's going on here, and we can give you a final of who is going through. Yeah, maybe we can get it pulled up. Yeah. So. As um, we have seen all day, Victim of Ritual has been absolutely dominating this bracket, so he moves in in first place on the winner's side. Cool. Like it's out for him. Yeah, number two, we have Dante. We just saw beat our boy Spiridgen here on the winner's side as well. Moving to the loser's side, we actually have your boy Massacre coming in hot in a third place in the loser's bracket, but there's still a huge thing. And in fourth, we have our buffed Lars coming in. So unfortunately for all the other players, Spirit Jin, Alpha, Grimace, and Dancer, you played an absolutely fantastic bunch of Tekken today. It has been a long day. Um, and uh, just shout outs um, for showing up and playing today. It's, uh, it's definitely not easy. I want to give a very special shout out to the boys in New York City Tekken. For just having me over to to commentate this stuff with you guys it's uh it's hella fun to get over to this side of the pond you all sound like a youtube video to me so um i'm really You're saying that beforehand yeah <laughs> no this this was a lot of fun and 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 i i really enjoyed doing this uh you know uh the the new york city folks asked if i would and uh i was like me but okay cool sure and no, like this was this was a ton of fun yeah um, I want to give a special shout out to our boy behind the camera. You've heard him a couple of times today. Do you want to shout yourself out here? Oh, you caught him. I got, got him. Napping. He's napping. He's already like eating his pizza or something like. <laughs> he had to go get it. He had to go get it at the front door. Yeah. Um, no, but a uh, big shout out to, to NYC Furby. Uh, definitely hit up uh, the. I can't. The Twitter is a different name, but uh, uh, at follow. NYC Furby. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yep. Uh, just uh, go follow that and stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I think the next one is on the 29th. So this day next week, um, you're going to see Pool D. You can check all the brackets and stuff. Um, ELF are, are helping out with some of those and stuff. Um, yeah. But yeah, thank you. Thank you for, for, for letting me do comms with you, sir. Ed, it's been an absolute pleasure. Yeah, for sure. This was this was a lot of fun. Definitely. Uh, yeah, so I think we got a couple of seconds. Uh, Art mentioned that he is a, he, slightly indisposed for a moment. So we we should we can just would you like to indulge in an awkward pause? Yes, I would absolutely. All right. Oh, I can't. I can't. My my, my commentator <laughs> like instincts are just like just say anything, fill the space. Yeah, fill yeah the I'm space. here. That, that's absolutely what it was. I was at the front door <laughs> with my phone. Hearing you no really. tell me shot myself out, and I'm like, I'm AFK. But I am <laughs> back now. Thank you, Sam Ding. I, I followed you as well, yeah. So it is indeed NYC Furby. Uh, appreciate the um, the EU scene, you know, and the US scene getting in the mix, you know. Hopefully with this new net code and this, this stretch goal that we have at 1,000, you know, by the end of it, we'll be able to get some EU versus US in that Tekken. Well, at least Lockdown Fighters versus NYC Tekken. Yeah, that's going to be sick. Yeah, for yeah sure. that'll be fun. Yeah, for sure. Um, well, that is it for this week, uh, gentlemen. 